become saints in this great crisis of the church. That's what our Lord wants from us, to become saints. And we also learn from Father Raphael, he had visited, he was invited to visit Father Zendeas last year. And Father Zendeas told him, look, we'll give you money, we'll give you buildings, we'll give you support. Just side with Bishop Williamson and don't recant your, your condemnation of the new Mass and say that it doesn't give grace. And Father Raphael said, what are you talking about? The new Mass is deadly. How can we possibly compromise on the new Mass? So Father Fathers and Nairs told him, if you don't come with us, meaning the fake resistance, which is like the SS Peter of 1988, but now in 2016, 15, 16, 17, he threatened them and he said, if you don't come with us, we will crush you. And we're going to crush Father Pfeiffer and Our Lady of Mount Carmel. We will crush them. And he, and he means aggressively. So, <clears throat> this is what we're up against. So he's going to be made a bishop next month. So pray for him. But it, this shows you we're, we're, what lines of battle we're in. The lines are drawn. If you're for the new Mass, or try to excuse it, or Vatican II, you're on the dark side. And if you're with Christ the King, but with all the popes of tradition, and Archbishop Lefebvre, you're on the side of the light. And we can never compromise with the new Mass at Vatican II. We, we should rather die a thousand deaths than compromise on any of these questions of the, of the faith. So dear faithful, pray for our seminary. And uh, we consecrated at the foot of Our Lady, the whole work of the true resistance, and at the tomb of Garcia Moreno, and the tomb of that martyred archbishop who was poisoned at Mass in his cruets. We consecrated the whole work in the seminary to these great saints. So pray for us, and uh, you are in this fight also. You're in this fight. And Satan wants to rip the faith out of your hearts, rip it out of your homes. Rip it out of your minds. So, um, if Father doesn't mind me speaking about this, you can... We know that Father Raphael was recently requested to go along with the, the, the new what's called fake resistance. He was promised uh, financial help, he promised many great things, if he just accepts this compromised position of what's called the fake resistance. But the, the priest who asked him, forgot that Father Raphael comes from a, a fighting stock of Catholics. And you, if Father doesn't mind me speaking about this, you sisters should know um, Father Raphael's great grand uncle is a, a canonized saint, St. Raphael Gizar, whose incorrupt body is in Veracruz. And this great bishop worked many, many miracles. Children would come up to him, and he'd give out candy, and candy, and more children keep coming, and he always had candy. It was a mir miracle of the multiplication of the candy. <laughs> and he, 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 he kept strong, and he supported the great Catholic resistance called the Cristeros who, like Vatican II, wanted to crush the Catholic faith and rip it out of the hearts of the, of the faithful. So the great Saint Raphael Gizzo, you could ask Father more stories, he's got thousands of them. <laughs> About the great Saint Raphael Gizzo.
who told his, he kept the seminary running during the Freemasonic persecution, right across the street from the city hall of the president in Mexico City, when it was outlawed to wear the cassock or run a seminary or even wear a, a miraculous medal. Truly, he's a great model for any Catholic bishop of our day, who, like Archbishop Lefebvre, understood we need seminaries for the future of the church. Another one you don't know about is, is another great grand uncle of Father Raphael. Is <laughs> 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 General Jesus de Ogado Guizar, who was the second chief commander of the Cristeros in Colima, right? In Colima? Oh, in the whole of Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Cristero commander who made sure his men went to confession and communion before every battle. He shout was, the, the whole army shouted, Viva Cristo Rey. And Do you remember Los Cristero? In Mexico their fame was won Like you and me they loved their children And loved to see the morning sun But one day such tears and cries among them Their shrines and their saints were taken from them such treachery done them, but they cried, Viva Cristo Rey. They rose as light against the darkness, they must defend their church and land. In face of firing squad or cannon, they stood with courage hand in hand. Their lifeblood flowed free amid the flowers As they fell there in battle through the hours Yet hearts faith empowers And they cried, Viva Cristo Rey You must remember Los Cristeros And live your life the best you can in the distance hear the thunder There comes the enemy of man But in life or death we'll stand together The Cristero song we will remember Though life we surrender as we cry, Viva Cristo Rey.